Everyone, it's certainly a tragedy no parent wants to go through. Four children have died this year in Tennessee from accidental shootings. The two latest happened in Sumner County. And these deaths are raising concerns from some organizations that are pushing for safer gun solutions. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs spoke with a woman who says these deaths are preventable. It's absolutely tragic. My hearts go out to the family of the two little boys here in Sumner County. On Sunday, Sumner County Sheriff's officials confirmed a six-year-old boy was shot and killed in an accidental shooting. I can't imagine the grief that they're going through. And um, unfortunately, if you look at the numbers over the last few years, Tennessee tends to have some of the uh, most unintentional shootings by children. Jesse McKinney is a volunteer with the Tennessee chapter of Moms Demand Action, an organization supporting safer firearm solutions. I think it's important to remember that, um, you know, we have the power to save lives um, without having to rely on our legislators to pass any laws at all. What happened Sunday in Sumner County has happened multiple times this year and multiple times this month. In the last 20 days, three children died from accidental shootings in Tennessee. Another accidental shooting in Nashville on June 22nd left the 13-year-old in critical condition. In February, an accidental shooting in Clarksville left the two-year-old dead after officials say children got a hold of an unsecured handgun. There are a multitude of ways that gun owners can secure firearms in their homes where they're easily accessible for them in the moment of an emergency, but also inaccessible to children. The latest data from the Tennessee Child Fatality Review report shows two accidental shooting deaths involving children in both 2018 and 2019. It's important to note that secure gun storage means that guns need to be stored unloaded and locked and separate from ammunition. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. If you do have guns in your home, there are several ways that you can store them safely. The NRA recommends a trigger lock, which clamps around the trigger, preventing it from being manipulated. You should never install these on loaded guns since they are in direct contact with the trigger. If you want quick access to your gun, Field and Stream recommends a security case or a strong box. You can enter a customized code or use your fingerprint to open them. Field and Stream says gun safes are the most secure gun and storage option. These can be a big financial investment and also a permanent solution. They can be bolted into a concrete slab, making them difficult to move. And when it comes to buying a gun safe, it recommends considering the size, steel thickness and fire rating. Gun safes can come with electronic or manual locks and can also be a theft deterrent.